Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, I got a review on these new custom fit floor mats that you can go and buy at your local Walmart. Let's do it. Okay, so on these mats, they have them that are for SUVs and crossovers for cars and for trucks. And then what you wanna do is you wanna look over here and like this is gonna be going in the Jeep. So it says Jeep, but it says Honda, Ford, Toyota, Chevy, Nissan. And then it shows you where you cut them out. Now what you have to do is you have to go onto their website, which I'm gonna do right now. On the phone, I hope. So you guys can see. So there's our website, causa.com slash custom fit. And you select your year. So this is an 06. And then the make is going to be Jeep. I'm hoping I'm getting this in the camera because I'm not even watching the camera. I'm looking at my phone. And then the model would be Grand Cherokee. And then you hit go. Okay, so there it is, 2006 Grand Cherokee. So it shows you for a custom fit where to cut the mat out at, which is really cool to make it fit your floorboard. Now I did watch a video on their website and they said before you cut, put the mat in to see if you like it, you know, full size, which I'm going to do because I think I showed in my very first video in the interior cleaning, there is a hole in the floorboard on the driver's side. So I wanna make sure we cover that up. So I'm gonna put those in full size first. I'll show it on the video. We're gonna put it in full size first and we're gonna see how we like it. Another reason why I like these mats, because I hate when mats move. I'm gonna try to hold this up. These little covers right here you take off before you install it. Look at those feet right there. Plus it has all these nipples right here to keep, keep it from moving on you. But that right there, it's almost like what you'd have on a golf shoe. Um, if you're a golfer, you know what I'm talking about. That's the same type of spikes that are on it. So let me get the camera set up over here. I'm gonna have my daughter actually film it and we'll see what these things look like. So when I open the mats up, I wish I had done this on video, but I didn't. When you open it up, you got to sign it in Spanish. <laughs> I just threw it on the floor. Spanish or you got um, English and it shows you, you can watch videos on YouTube. Um, if you go on their website, there's a YouTube video on there you can watch and then safety first. One thing it does say, a helpful tip is you can use your current mats, your OE mats, um, as a guide to trace out where you want to cut it. And then it shows right here, you know, putting it in the car and it shows blue. Like if you didn't want it there, you would, you know, cut that section, that section, you know, just, it shows like a pair of scissors. So we're going to see, I have some Harbor Freight scissors. We'll see if they cut, you know, those free ones you can get. I have tons of them. Uh, we'll see if they can cut through. So now we'll get set up here and get them in the car. Okay, so here's the mats. The custom, the one that says custom fit, their, their logo is actually, Jeez, I'm having bad luck in this video. It's actually like riveted in. Pretty nice looking. That's gonna be the driver's side. The passenger side does not have the logo. There's the passenger side. Let's just go ahead and just put this one in just to see. I'm gonna try to stay out of the camera's way. So this is definitely way too big for the passenger side, as you can see. It doesn't fit in. You know, if, if, I, if you did, it just, it looked horrible. So we're gonna have to cut this one down. Let's go, these are the backs. So the backs you're just gonna cut right down the middle, cut right up here and it'd be good. Let's go see how big this one looks on the driver's side. This one's gonna be a little bit tighter fitting. Oh, here, okay. I said tighter fitting because I thought she was gonna have to fit in here where the door's at. There's probably not a lot of light though. Okay, that is definitely way too big as well. Can you get it good? Yeah. Okay, way too big. So we're gonna have to cut these down. Yep. So what we're gonna do? Let's cut. The, let's cut the uh, passenger side one down first. And what they tell you to do is put an X on all the pieces that you don't want on there. I think I have. Well, I really don't have a marker that will show. Or your paint marker. Uh, I don't know where it's at. Oh, That's okay. Let's see. Tray. A pencil should mark on it. Yeah, good enough. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to get the picture out off my phone. So here's the passenger side right here. 
So what we want is we actually want to take, let's just do it like this. This, this video is not planned. We're going to get rid of that one. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that one. So if I get rid of both of these, I know I don't have 20 X's on these. And we're gonna get rid of that one. And that one. And this one. So anything that has an X, I need to cut to the inside of. Cuts very easy. What? Okay, so am I using this? You have the phone. Yeah, I'm using that. Yeah, you're using that. So we're just gonna cut this way. All the way down, right? Yep. Okay, that cut very, very easy. And then I need to be to the inside here. Might be easier on these corners with a razor blade. We went into Walmart to get just some cheap floor mats because it's a cheap, cheaper vehicle. We didn't pay it a lot of money for. But as soon as we saw these, they were only like $7 more than the, the ones that we were gonna buy. So we bought these instead. Man, I hope I did that right. Okay, let's see if that fits in there good. Go ahead and put my phone down. Fits in there perfect. It covers all the way to here. So that's good. You like it, April? Yeah. That's good. Okay, so what we're gonna do Go ahead and take these off so that floor mat won't move. There's none on the top. And then we'll cut the driver's side down and then I'll, I'm not gonna do that on video, but I'll show you the end result here in just a few minutes. Okay, so all the mats are in. I really like the way the passenger side fit after cutting. So when you guys saw me cut, it fits very well. It fits right where it's supposed to. Sorry, I'm kind of out of light right there. Looks good. The rear mats fit, fit very well too. I don't know if I have enough light in here, but they fit good. It covers most of the carpet. And then the drivers is the one I'm not very happy with, but it fits okay. There's a lot of carpet showing here and then up in here. Um, and it looks nice in there and it does cover that hole that was in the carpet, which is right there. It does, it does fit well, but it just, to me, it, it could have been a little bit better. I kind of wish I wouldn't have cut this out right here, but I was going by their design. Dummy me, I guess I know not to do that if I ever buy these again, but these still are a lot cheaper than buying WeatherTech because WeatherTech is extremely expensive. Now Walmart does sell a rubber mat by the same company, Custom Fit, for back here that we might buy in the future. It's about the same price, I think it was $27.99 as well. Um, we might buy it, we might not, I don't know. We haven't decided yet, but I'm happy with it. I only spent $30 on them. They're not bad. They're not as good as they could be, but they are not terrible. Well, that's gonna be it for the custom fit floor mats. They were, they're pretty good. They're, they're not great. I'd give it a, a solid seven out of 10 uh, as far as happiness that I am with it. They're, they're not up here with uh, uh, WeatherTech, sorry, brain fart, WeatherTech, but they're not down here, down here, um, with the cheapy mats you get for 15 or $20, and we only spent $8 more. The cheapy mats, you know, you get it in and out of your car, they move around on you, they don't ever stay in place, they're really thin rubber. For $8 more, we got a lot better floor mats. Now I'm kinda, if I ever do it again, I know to set the mat in there, cut one section off at a time instead of going off what they said, you know, off the picture, because the driver's side just didn't really match up very well. So as far as custom fit, all the other ones were good, but the driver's side kind of, eh, it was, it, it's all right. It'll give us some protection, especially here in Indiana. We get a lot of salt or snow, so we get salt and we get sand put down the roads. You get in and out of your car and parking lots. 
and you get salt and sand all in your car. This will give us some protection. Plus, we still didn't have the old floor mats. The old floor mats were absolutely disgusting. And as soon as we pulled them out, we didn't even attempt to clean them. They went straight in the trash. So we need to get something down. And this is a car, once again, I paid $400 for. Um, I'm not gonna put a $200 set of floor mats in it. I just I just won't, a, a weather tech, you know, for the floor mats and for the cargo area. Um, I'm gonna spend $27.99 on these and I might go back and buy the one for the cargo. I'm not sure. It's $27.99 as well. Custom fit, you cut it out just like that, just like they show on the website. But they're, they're, they're good. I would definitely recommend them. Just make sure when you cut them, you see where they show you, show you to cut them, go to the car, make sure it looks like it's gonna be right before you cut them. Because once you cut them like I did, I'm kind of disappointed. I wish I would have kept a little bit more rubber up there where that foot rest is on the driver's side. But other than that, all the other floor mats work great. I definitely recommend these. You can go to your Walmart, you can buy them. You don't have to order them online and they look pretty good in the car. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Hit that little bell so every time I upload a video, you get notified and we will see you next time.